left yeah, the walls exactly. and everything. So, you know, with all this new study. I, I think for for Ina and I, I mean, this maybe we're, 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 I do believe that we're one of the few um, directors because even our, if you look at our team, well, because but you have the dance background, but for me, I, I really, you know, my design team is quite. Not unique, but it's 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 I think it's special. I mean, because like I said, I never work without a choreographer in the pieces that I do. Like move, you know, or I've been calling her my movement director. Um, it, it's it's you know so visual, you know, equals movement. You know, all the stuff that I do is quite, you know, it's, it's musical theater in a way. Musical, <laughs> you know, it's just there's there needs to be the visual and the movement of that visual all the time. But you know, I think the other thing is that a lot of directors they can talk in terms of images, but they don't actually see them. Mm -hmm. And when they're actually then become realized on stage, they're surprised. Mm -hmm. um, it's often directors who are trained as actors, you know, that they and they go, oh, I didn't realize it was that big. Or, oh, <laughs> 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 it happens. It happens a lot. Very I guess because of that you know, lack of visual training? Perhaps, uh, yeah. But I, I, I think, though, uh, I, I do think things are shifting because I think in, certainly in, in Toronto, since I've come here, things have, have grown and shifted and changed. There's a much more evolving, there's an evolving visual <coughs> style occurring here that wasn't always occurring. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, I keep thinking of things like I see Mary in there, and I keep thinking of Leisure Society, mm -hmm. and what a transformation that show was for the factory, you know, and, and how you were able to completely re-render that space, and how hard, having worked in there twice myself, and about to work in there again, I, can, I know what that meant, and what you were able to do, and that was a, because you have a, a rich, eclectic kind of background, and I think, I think we actually all need to cross pollinate more. <laughs> Frankly, yeah, I really do. Right. I think you know, we could all stand a little more mixing it up because there's there's a ton of wonderful stuff going on and, and beautiful ways of and I my my big pet peeve is I feel like we need more purpose built spaces. Like I feel like we are struggling in Toronto in particular with spaces that were created out of necessity and they're great, but they are at the, they're kind of at their wit's end of uh, without having you know you think of Montreal and all the purpose built theaters there that people can experiment and try things out with and, and you know so um, I I just my my great hope for Toronto is someday to have like a couple of like a two hundred seat a four hundred seat and a fifty seat black box all built to be theaters. Just just theaters, and yeah, <laughs> uh, just you know, so that with, and open to many companies, so that all kinds of different groups of people can work in them. Because I just, I feel like we've all ended up a little bit trapped within a, a little bit. I, I don't want to. I'm not saying everything is terrible. I just, I just think that we need to. That's what something we want to Question. Can we, can we ask questions? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, please. Um, <laughs> of course. Now, it's interesting about because uh, so many plays are still written and. Model. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to like a cinematographic approach doesn't have a lot of distance to go when it's like that. You know, there's some places that don't lend themselves to right. and, and I'm not being a little harsh there, but yeah, yeah. because I think you know, one moment at a time and cinematographically created it. But, mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering if you play right, you know, there's you know, constantly play right, you can't really be with you guys because you're out know, there working on the plays all the time and, and also existing plays. Where the, you know, the, the approach, the cinematic approach we've been talking about, you have a big difference between your approach to new plays and where you, where you see things expanding or not expanding. You know, just, you know, where there's a different approach. You know. Well, I, I think, yeah, what, what you're saying is that we need a different approach. Like, yes, I have to. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. No, I think well, that's because true. Because a lot of, you know, kind of kitchen sink around it. I don't know if I can be direct there, about that. There are some, but I do think there are a lot of young playwrights coming out that are, you know, I whenever I've read stuff, I, I they they are really I think there is a shift going on where people are looking at more extreme I mean like the play you're working on with Hannah right now that is um, 
just you know like she she's taking a, a story and telling it through time and mm -hmm. it's yeah. Children's Republic at GCTC oh. and I'm also going to yeah. and um, that's why it was like an exploding thing a bit. This was like absolutely later yeah. 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 like film your major comment about film films are very natural to me even though it's like a song and yeah. and my film thing I is we miss about theater is when there's no poetry in it. Yes absolutely or, or explosion outside of the natural that's not the okay. uh, I think uh, even with kitchen sink, uh, kitchen sink drama, I mean, I try to stay, 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 try to stay clear of them. But sometimes, you know, there are there are There's some places good ones. where they're yeah. or, or, or very very rooted in realism. Mm -hmm. It has to be this location. I think there's, to me, there's always a narrative way to narrative thing to try to find to design to that's more important than the location, than the room. So even if it is, so okay, so I'll, I'll use my own example. Um, just, um, just like I'm just by that. Uh, so for uh, Hannah's play, uh, Children's Republic, it could, it, could, it could absolutely be done super realistic so that we recreate the orphanage and then we recreate the streets of Warsaw and we recreate the trains of, uh, on the way to Terlinga. You know what I mean? But we chose not to, and um, and the place very rooted. The, the dialogue is very. It's not poetic in terms of um, it is. It is poetic, but it's 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 very real everyday language. It's day to day language. So it could be. It could absolutely be done super 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 realistic. But we chose not to, and it, uh, because there's so much more to that story than the location. There's so much more than the orphanage. The kids alone, the absence of kids, or, or so we use chairs. We use like 40 chairs. So the absence of children tells me orphanage. Do you know what I mean? You know, maybe that's a image I'm imposing on it. Um, but it's something uh, the director and I considered, and uh, because there, are, I think there, are, oh, there's always something else to design to that that is much more interesting. Than I always come back to the room, but I don't start with the room. I don't start with my props and I don't start with my entrances and exits. Uh, I, I try to find what that one in one sentence, what that one narrative line is. And even in the kitchen sink, I think there can always be something found in terms of trying to find a different approach, scenic approach, if we choose not to do it like a realistic box that our kitchen sink. Wait till rehearsal to, to, to talk about that because then it's like 
Yes. Well, I, I actually, what it makes me realize too is what one thing we haven't talked about in terms of scenography is.